Okay, so an, exa an example of a st use of data calculating averages, calculating outliers, and showing the uh, data on a box plot and making comparisons. So, what have we got? We've got some data, adult female gorillas, and we're literally having to work at the median, the lower quartile, and then the upper quartile. So the data needs to be in size order, and well, that's already been done for us. There are 15 adult females, so the median is going to be the, well, we have a little formula for finding the median position. So the median position is always n plus 1 over 2. So it's the number of data points plus 1 halved. So the number of data points in this case is 15, add 1 to that is 16, halved is 8. So looking for the 8th data points, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So the eighth data point is 115 kilograms. The lower quartile, well, we take the number of data points below that uh, middle, uh, middle position. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Add 1 to that, uh, 8, halve it, uh, 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So the lower quartile value will be 110. And the upper quartile value, well, if the lower quartile was a fourth from the beginning, then the upper quartile will be the fourth from the back. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And we can see that's uh, correct because there's three data points below that value and three data points above it. So 127. Uh, show that 70 is an outlier. Well, this is where we've got to remember another formula. So outlier. So two formulas there. So we've got the lower quartile value plus one and a half times the interquartile range. That gives you the lower fence boundary. In other words, anything below that is considered to be an outlier. And the upper uh, boundary is found by the upper quartile plus one and a half times the interquartile range. Well, we're working at the lower end, so I need to work out the interquartile range. Well, that's quite a simple formula. The interquartile range is the upper quartile value minus the lower quartile value. So in this case, 127 minus 110 uh, is 17. So the lower fence then will be found by this formula here. So we need the lower quartile value take away. Now why did I put plus? Silly boy. So minus there. So it should be the lower quartile minus one and a half times the interquartile range. So 110 minus uh, one and a half times 17. Uh, so we do that on our calculator. So 110 minus 1.5 times 17 equals 84.5 kilograms, that's the units we're using. So 70 is the only outlier as it is below 84.5. Okay, so we've calculated that as the outlier value uh, using these formulas for outliers, using the correct symbol here of course. It's lower quartile take away one and a half times the interquartile range. Okay, so that's the questions, but then it says on the uh, back of the page uh, there are no other outliers. Uh, the weighted kilograms, these ways to summarise. So the male's data has been plotted. Um, this data was for 15 females. So they literally want us to plot um, the box plot to show the distribution of females. Now what we must remember is that when we draw in box plots, if there are outliers found, then an outlier must be shown uh, by a star value or a cross, so that it's in uh, an obvious position. So we found that the outlier value was 70. So again, with all graphs, we work out the scale. Um, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110. So it's going in tens. So 70 we should put a cross because that was an outlier. Then the next value uh, to plot will be the lower quartile value which was 110. Um, the minimum value um, is the lowest value in the data um, that's not an outlier, so that's 85. So the lowest value 70, 80, 85 will be there. And our median value we calculated is 115, so 110, 120, so 115. And our upper quartile we calculated as 127, so roughly there. And our last value is the maximum of the data, which was 150. So 150 is there. So 
draw our box around the quartiles. values, put our whiskers on the end, and then the line through the median. Okay, so that's our box plot with the outliers shown. Uh, we're going to really carefully throw our outliers, we must show them as separate uh, crosses. Um, minimum value, lower quartile value, median value, upper quartile value, maximum value plotted with our box around the quartiles to show our interquartile range, our spread, and so forth. So that's the box plot drawn. It then says compare the distribution of the weights of the adults and females. Compare, well, we always then must look for a measure of location. So that's an average. So on box plots, we're always comparing the median and we must look for a measure of spread and on box plots again the classic measure of spread will be the interquartile range now it's worth four marks so it's worth four marks so we should also consider talking about the skew to make sure that we've got quite a lot of things to compare here so we can see for the measure of location the median. Uh, the median value for the males is 170, 80, 90, 70, 80, 90, 200. So, median average for males at 200 kilograms is higher. Female median of 115 kilograms. So males typically heavier. Um, for spread interquartile range, uh, well, we calculated the interquartile range for the females was 17. So we calculated the distance there was 17. For the males, it's going 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So, so male data more spread out with an IQR of 50 kilograms compared. the female IQR of 17 kilograms. So in other words the female data is more consistent in the uh, middle. Uh, the skew, uh, basically both um, box plots show the data for both females and males are positively skewed. So basically um, the lower half of the data is less spread out than the upper half of the data which is more spread out. So that's what the skew is trying to suggest to us. So to compare the distributions then uh, we're looking for a measure of location, a measure of spread and we could talk about the skew. It's worth four marks so put in quite a bit of detail and quote numbers when you're comparing. So that's a summary of things you could be expected to do with uh, data, calculating averages and plotting them on box plots, uh, particularly using outliers properly.